we're gonna create this nice 3D text effect in Illustrator and it's gonna be editable so we can change the text and even the character settings like the font, the spacing, everything. And we're gonna do it in two minutes. So let's start by adding some text using the type tool. The colors don't matter at this stage, so feel free to choose any color you want. Even the ugliest combination, nobody's gonna judge you. Now make sure the text box is selected with the selection tool and then open the appearance panel. Go to window, appearance. The appearance panel is so powerful and you can learn about it in another video I made. I'll put the link in the description. So with the text box selected, click here at the bottom of the appearance panel to add a new effect. Go to 3D and materials and choose extrude and bevel. And now the text can be moved around and rotated in 3D using these handles right on the text box or using the 3D and materials panel under the object tab. And here you can change a lot of different settings. So let's set the depth to 90 and the perspective to 60. Next, still in the 3D and materials panel, switch to the materials tab and choose the material you want. Of course, here you can add your own materials and graphics, but for now, I'm just gonna choose circle stitch. Let's move to the lighting tab. Here you can control the lighting direction visually or use these sliders. So I'll increase the intensity to 100%, set the rotation to negative 150, and the height to 55. Cool, but this is still too rigid. We want it to be, you know, more organic, something like that. Well, with the text box still selected and back in the appearance panel, click here again to add a new effect, go to distort and transform and choose zigzag. And here I'll decrease the size, set the ridges per segment to one and set the points to smooth. Click okay and that's it. Remember, this is fully editable. So if you double click on the text box, you'll see the original text and you'll be able to make the changes you want. And when you're ready, select the text box, go to the 3D and materials panel, and then click here to render the scene. This is the final render and the end of this video.